Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm doing some Mexican food and it is called a Mexican corn bake. It's a recipe I got off of this here Jiffy cookbook full of Jiffy recipes from Jiffy Mix. They make great stuff. I'm not sponsored by them. I should be because I love their stuff. But you can get it for free off their website. Anyway, I'm doing the Mexican corn bake today. It's a new one to me. I wanted to try it out. So what I got here, I wanted to bring you guys right into the action. I got a pound of beef that I'm browning. But while I'm doing that, I also want to cut up an onion. So let's get right to it. And by the way, now's a good time. Let's get our oven fired up here to 400. There we go. Get that going. As you can see, it's quite the rainy and miserable day outside here. A little chilly actually in Michigan, so I thought it'd be perfect for some Mexican food. Okay, so this is a recipe that's only using a pound of beef. So it's not going to make a huge amount. We're going to be using two boxes of Jiffy Mix, a can of corn, and we'll get into all that. But let's get our onions started here. I've got the oven preheating to 400. I got the beef heating, browning, so I want to get my onion ready and get it in there so it can soften up while the beef's cooking. Sometimes when you're filming and feels like you're one of those guys that used to have the plates on the poles and he'd spin the plate so it'd stay on the pole and then he'd run and spin the other one so it wouldn't stop because when they stopped they fall off the poles and he'd get a half dozen or more of those things all spinning going back and forth uh, that's the way it, it feels sometimes you know when you're when you're filming okay I'd say that's pretty good. You don't want huge chunks. We want it a little fine, so I think that's good. Okay, let's add this ring to the beef before the beef's getting away from me a little bit here. Get the onions going. I'm using my old cast iron. This is a Griswold 9 inch. It's pretty old. It's been in the family for a long time. And that's my oven, saying it's at 400, so we're good to go on that. Now, we'll start working on the rest. Now it's calling for a half a cup of jalapenos. So that's what I got here. These are out of a jar. And it says to chop them up. So that's what we're doing. Okay. Of course, here with the onions and the meat, it always smells fantastic already. Okay, now it's calling for a teaspoon of cumin. So I will use two halves here. So there's a teaspoon of cumin. Now it wants a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. So there's a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. It wants a tablespoon of chili powder. So there's a tablespoon of chili powder. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. So we will put that in right there. The heat. Alright, let's combine our ingredients here. 
I will start with the Jiffy Mix, two boxes. There's one. Two boxes of Jiffy Mix. Looks like that. Here I've got two eggs that I've beaten. Here I have a can of cream style corn. And finally, two thirds cup of milk. Let's combine that. If I don't slush it all over the place. <laughs> oh, geez. Always in a rush, it seems like. I make their cornbread all the time. It's delicious. Now, sometimes I swing the cornbread. I know a lot of people, that's a no-no. Okay, that looks good. Okay, here I've greased my casserole dish that I'm going to use. And it says put in about half of the batter. So that's a good bottom there. Now we will bring in the beef. Try to make a layer here. We'll get it all in there and then spread it around a little, make it a little bit more pretty. Just get it all in there and lightly spread it around some. That looks good. So far this seems like a nice easy recipe. Oops, I didn't get a little bit there mixed, see that? On the bottom. Always in a hurry. Maybe I put a little bit too much on the bottom and not enough for the top. We'll see how it turns out. Got a little bit more here I can get. Okay. I'd say that looks legit. Now we're going to put that in. This was 45 minutes uncovered. Now the book does say 40 to 45 minutes, so I should have been checking it. It's a little brown, but it tastes great. I should have been checking it at 40 minutes for sure, but I got tied up trading. But at least this way, because usually my oven. I always have to let it go a little extra to get, and this is fairly thick, you know, but um, it's definitely well done. But the topping, <clears throat> the topping's definitely fine. So we'll get a piece out and see what it looks like. Let's see. It's looking good. I'm making a mess out of it. <laughs> Oops. This on
That's looking pretty good. So they say the proof's in the pudding. Let's give this a go here. Try just a bite. Mmm. Oh wow. That is good. That has some bite to it. I'll tell you. I thought for sure it wasn't going to be um, very spicy. It must be the jalapenos with the chili pepper. and It all works together just right. I'm telling you, this is a keeper. Not for the faint of heart. If you don't like spicy at all, I would leave off, cut down, or leave out the jalapenos. But it is really good. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it half as much as I enjoyed baking it. I always appreciate your time. Till next time, we'll see you.